Hi Collective, how are you? This is Healing Hands, guys. How is it going? I hope you're all doing okay. I am doing wonderful. But guys, let's dig in. I would like to see what is going on in you all's energies. In our energy, collective energy, right? In my energy, your energy, their energy, our energy, okay? It's a collective energy, guys, because like I said in one of my other readings, we are all swimming in this one pool of connectivity, all right? This one pool of energy is what we're all inside and swimming in that energy. So let's see what is going on with my collective and their energy. Let's use this, all right? I'm being guided to use something else. Let's use this one right here. Um, it's a new deck. So let's see all what messages we are going to be getting from this one. Okay. Let's see. Spirit, spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, spirit. All right. Thank you, spirit. What messages do you have for my collective? Somebody is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is apologizing apologetic about something or somebody feels like they need to apologize it's a ton of this it says what do you want i'm open to compromise number four number two is a lot we're not gonna take them all it's a lot <laughs> but it looks like all right we're gonna take those this one's that just all right so this one says i hope you will wait for me so this is another energy of somebody who's apologizing that maybe wait, hoping somebody will wait for them. Wow. Okay. There's an energy of I feel the same way. I feel like these are like different energies, right? Don't you feel that way? Or is it the same person? There's something here about another number two. Three, two, two, right? Um, that says my life started when I met you. And there's something about, I want to start a family with you. Wow. This is interesting. <laughs> Looks like there is a very strong um, energy of yearning here for someone. All right. Longing for someone. Um, and also, I'm picking up the energy of apology, energy of um, um, self-sabotage. Somebody doing something that they cannot explain. Why they did it. And it looks like they self-sabotaged a relationship. Um, maybe somebody who took someone for granted. And felt like you know somebody will always be there for me. I mean so sometimes we get into that mind space. Where we feel like people ain't going to go nowhere. Okay after all she loves me she ain't going nowhere. Or he loves me he ain't going nowhere. And then the person will leave right. Um, and then we realize we made a mistake. We let someone go that we shouldn't have. And um. This could also be in regards to any other thing or area or aspect of your life. It could be your finances. It could be in regards to something that you think is dear to you. Something that you feel sorry about letting it go or not doing or not attending to. All right. Um, but there is a feeling here of somebody who feels like maybe um, they feel the same way about someone. But for some reason... They um, messed up the situation, a good situation it looks like. Because two, you know, tells me it's the it's a number of partnership. So it, this could be in some sort of partnership, whether it's a relationship or business official. It doesn't matter. This is a partnership where someone, even though they love the person, I mean, they had no real reason to um, sabotage a relationship. They just did. Here, yeah, it looks like. Um, but they still want to start a family. This, I mean... There is a feeling of I feel the same way. I want I would like I wanted a family. Somebody 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 wanted a family in this situation with someone. Or maybe had a family and messed up the family. Somebody, I mean, they're even saying that their life started when they met you. If this is in the future tense, it tell it's telling me right here that some of you may be meeting someone in your future that will feel the same way about you, or maybe you just met someone. Um, or someone where when you meet them, you feel like um, 
it's a total completion and beginning of a new cycle in your life number 10 right equal to a one where um you the person whoever this is will feel like you know wow my life has just started uh you know i'm i'm glad you know i don't feel sorry for where i'm coming from all right and thank god whoever this new person is you know showed up because they are in sync is it two two right so two people who are in sync with each other to you know get down to a new beginning all right which means two and one is three right so there's some kind of um balancing that is playing out here okay there's something about 21 again all right so i just said something about a two and a one so here you go i'm um, confirming what i just said it says you are so very special so this is a message for someone that you know like i said before somebody might be meeting someone or just met someone that they feel is special or maybe it might be a past person that you feel like might be special that you do have lingering feelings or emotions about or it could be something in your near future all right there's something here that says um i left because you told me to all right so somebody here may have left because you know, like I said, they didn't know how to apologize when it happened or because they, they were prideful or self-sabotage. I pick up a lot of that energy and somebody leaving because, you know, they didn't know how to speak their truth or how to um, apologize. You're right. There's, and that's a number eight. So eight is usually the number of karma of things repeating or coming back around could be a, a habit a pattern with one person that um spirit was trying to break because what spirit would do is have people self-sabotage without knowing why just because it's trying to you know um break down a structure a, a foundation that we think is solid so that it can be rebuilt so um for some reason whatever the situation may be for you you have so many choices and options so spirit is calling that somebody's attention that whatever the situation may be for you there is other options or if it's a particular situation, there are still options. It's always up to you where you want to go, right? Because it's you who will feel the pain. If you go in a direction that is contrary to where spirit wants you to go, you'll be the one feeling the suffering and the pain. So it's always good when you are in alignment. All right. So being in alignment involves um, hearing correctly from spirit and being able to interpret all those things that we're hearing so that we are moving in flow and in the right direction with spirit okay all right guys i hope this was helpful um i'm not trying to do any long readings here so let me see if we can pull any synchronicity for you there's a one 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 here there's a eight okay so there is a number eight you have eight eight here two eights all right but what this one is talking about is being successful it's talking about your talent for setting and reaching goals all right and talking about you being self-sufficient capable of achieving your ambitions your goals your dreams anything you have so many options here choices all right there's something here about a cycle that is a karmic cycle that keeps coming around for some of you i feel like if you don't get off the hamster wheel this cycle might come back around it's a partnership for some of you and it's a lingering partnership and i'm, I'm the twos twos double double tells me this might be some kind of a twin flame kind of energy that somebody feels like they are in some kind of um entanglement with the twin flame energy there's a two one where two people think they are one all right there's another one here okay so i'm seeing a lot of twos and ones and i'm seeing eight eight there's one 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 here too and this is um the creative force is the ability for you to realize that you have all these options inside of you and you can create your own path all right it talks about angels are ready to fully support you in their in this endeavor so that you can co-create with the universe a life that you love you have any option here you can choose whatever life it looks like for somebody there is um, a cycle that has closed, all right? Finally, it might be a relationship that has come to an end. That spirit is finally letting somebody know now, all right? That, you know, you, it's been a successful cycle that somebody has closed out. 
it was a successfully closed out cycle for someone all right because the eight eight might be like somebody actually did detach depending all right on your situation right but it didn't matter how you felt about this person all right or if you felt that your life started when you met them or you know that they were your life everything forced life whatever all right somebody detached here let someone go was not apologetic about it all right and you know now spirit is like it's time for you to move forward okay all righty guys there's twos there's eights i have ones all right okay guys all right until next time this is healing hands bye